Hello, my dear friends, and welcome back to the Be My Guest podcast channel with me, your boy, Sean Boy Joe. Now, the other day, I recorded a very special reunion podcast video with the cast and creator of one of the BBC's most iconic ever children's television programmes. That is, of course, The Tweenies. Ian Luckland, its creator, alongside the cast, Bob Golding, Emma Weaver and Colleen Daly, joined me for a catch-up 23 years on from the show's debut. It's a reunion special you won't want to miss. Now, whilst doing so, I got to test Bob, Emma and Colleen's knowledge on that very show they starred in more than 20 years ago. How much will they remember? Tweeny clock? Where will it stop? It's quiz time with the tweenies. Be my guest, be my guest, be my guest with Sean Boy Joe. So um, we come up with the idea, me um, um, and Colleen thought it'd be a nice idea to do the tweeny voices. So obviously, um, Emma's Bella, Bob, you can choose either Max or Milo, and of course Colleen can choose Fizz or Fizzle. <laughs> so it's entirely up to you. So let's... Okay, right. So if you have an answer, then please just buzz in in your tweeny character. Okay, they're going to start off rather easy and then they get a little complicated. I have done this quiz myself, so I'm... I'll see how we get along with this. Okay, and I will tally up all the points as well. Okay, are you ready, guys? Yes. Okay, here we go. Here is the first question. Okay, remember to buzz in with your character's voice if you want to give an answer. Okay, the first question should be pretty simple for you all. What year did the Tweenies first air on the BBC? I'm Milo. Yes, Bob. Uh, um, so I've got to answer as Milo too. It was 1999, September. Well done, very good. Uh, Bob Milo, very good. That is a point to you. Here's the second question. Who is the <laughs> out of all of the tweenies? Yes, Fizz, Colleen. Okay, Colleen, you're just going to have to talk as your normal voice. Because <laughs> Fizz, oh, uh, it's like... If I'm lower, does that help? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, um... Oh. It, Max, it's Max. It, yeah, yes. Or Bella. I'll, I'll give you that. I said the tweenies, but not the adults. But I'll give you Max. Max is the oldest out of all of the, all of the people, the tweenies. But I will give you that. Right. Question number three. What does ah okay one for you, Colin? You might get this one. What does Fizz want to be when she grows up? A ballerina. Okay, well done. I'll give you that because buzzing in is going to be tricky for you. Uh, okay, so I will give you that. On fizz. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay, question number four. What colour oh. does Milo think is yakaruni? A match. Oh yes, Bob. Is it is it brown? No. The answer, I think you'll find, was in a particular episode, which was pink. Because pink is yuckaroonie. Of mm. course it is. Now of course it is. Back to you. Yeah, of course. I thought I thought he trod in one of Doodles <laughs> Doodles and I thought he didn't like brownness. Well that was a, well, I'm surprised you didn't get that because all day long Bella Fizz and Jake were getting Milo to wear everything pink, including tutus and and scarves and feather boas. So I'm pretty surprised you didn't get that. Uh, that was a yeah. pretty... Shame on me. Shame on thing. me. So, there we go. Question number five. Whilst being helpful to Judy, what personal item of Jake's does Bella use to clean up with? Yes, Emma. Yes, I saw you money now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you just in because you were Bella. I don't know. I was saying I don't know to the other two. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh, I see you. Okay. Anybody else want to buzz? This is what, this is what used to happen, 
sure and you see when I needed help, they yeah. came to my rescue all the time. Right, okay. They got me out of situation. Does anybody else have an answer to that question? Yeah, the question, Sean. Yes. Whilst being helpful to Judy, what personal item of Jake's does Bella use to clean up with? <laughs> he's uh, he's, he's uh, on Scott. Oh, you're very cool. Oh. It was Jake's Snuggly. Oh. And Bella had used it to clean up and Jake was very upset. But then Judy put it in the washing machine and Jake Snuggly shrunk. He was always so moody, wasn't he, Jake? Just so sensitive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go on to the next question. We're racing through these. What did Jake sing about in the Top of the Pop special? Bananas. <laughs> oh, Colleen, yes, I got that. You said bananas. That is the correct answer. <laughs> well done, Colleen. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, on to the next question. Throughout its run, Bella cried a total of three times. Fitz cried a total of seven times, and Jake, 14. Milo cried just the once, but what was the reason? Uh... Bob's thinking. I know, I know. Oh, yes, Colin. Do you know? Oh, oh, let me give you a clue. Well, I think I might be wrong. Let me give you a clue. You don't have to help Cast it. Away. The film Cast Away. Oh, Milo. Remember yeah. Cast Ball? <laughs> the ball in Cast Away, Milo, remember? Go ahead, yeah, Bob. In the film Cast Away with Tom Hanks. Uh, uh, it, he, he lost his... Cold. He lost his football. No. Nope. Oh. No, the oh. answer was Judy threw his paper aeroplane in the rubbish. Oh. Oh. And, and why he got upset is because of uh. Grandad that helped him make it. Oh, I know. Oh. What a tantrum. What a drama. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there we go. That was uh, that was an interesting one. So nobody got that, right? Okay. Wilson. Yeah, but you know, it was twenty-three years ago, Sean. I know it was. Uh, yeah. Exactly right. Here we go. Question number eight. What was the name of the dream genie featured in the specials Nighttime Magic and Jungle Adventure? This should be interesting because you didn't know these. I'm Milo. I'm Milo. Yes. It was Eddie, Eddie the Dream Genie. Yes, well done, Eddie the Dream Genie, of course. Am I right in thinking voiced by Justin? You are right in thinking that, yes. Well yes. done, well done, well done, well done. Right, okay, question number nine. What was the name of the fifth character eventually dropped when the series began? Ian mentioned this earlier. I'm, I'm, I'm Max. Oh yes, go ahead. That was Sid. Uh, and he works in a fish and chip shop in Rotherham now. Well done. Well <laughs> done. Okay, the last few questions coming up. Question number mm -hmm. 10. In the episode Imaginary Pet, Fizz threw a wobbly after wishing she could own what animal? Hi, Bella. Yes. Was it a lizard? No, it was a <gasps> The correct answer is quite obvious. It was every girl's dream. A pony. Oh, Milo. Oh, I've said it now. Mm. <laughs> what was it? A oh, horse? Pony. A horse. Pony. Yeah. It was a yeah. pony, yes. She wished she could have a pony and she imagined that she had one. Um, I always, oh. it's really funny whenever Fizz would cry because she would scream the house down with her tears. She would just literally go into complete meltdown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's off the decibel. She's off the decibel. Um, brilliant. Right, question number 11. Circle time was the US equivalent to which tweeny clock segment? Uh, my yeah. Milo? Yep, go ahead. This is a guess. Was it song time? No, it wasn't. I I'm wrong. You're wrong, <laughs> indeed. Anyone else want to have a guess? You've got a few options there. News time! Well done, Bella! Well done, Bella. Anyone I could remember. Well, yeah. well um, done, Kate. Why they called it that, I don't know. And another interesting fact uh, video time was also a segment that was used. Okay, and that was in replace of, of course, telly time. Okay, we've got two more questions to go. In 2002, the Tweenies had a hit with the song Have Fun, Go Mad. But who was the song originally by? I'm Milo. Yes, Milo. It was Blair. Well done. I'll accept Blair or uh, Blair McCain. I'll accept that. Well done. 
Milo, no. you are on a Sean, 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 can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you know what film that song was in originally? Oh, I haven't got a clue. It was, I think it was in Sliding Doors. Ah, your mm-hmm. knowledge, Milo. There we go. A wealth of knowledge indeed. I did not know that, and I've learned something. Thanks, new. mate. It's Fabaruni. Yeah, it certainly is Fabaruni, mate. Right, the <laughs> right the thirteenth question and the last question. It is not necessarily tweenies related. So get your thinking caps on. The tweenies um, regularly appeared on top of the pops. But which female artist was the first person on the show when it launched in 1964? person yeah the first artist to appear the first female artist to appear on top of the pops in 1964. i, I match yes was it my ex-wife patula clark it was patula clark well done, oh, well done. You, do you want to tell us what the song what? was Bob? Uh, was it downtown downtown, was it da- was downtown. downtown. well done oh. Bob. well done and milo is of course the oh. winner well yeah. done, and I expect Milo to get that very last question. Uh, thank you. I'd like to. I'd like to say thank you to my mum and my dad, to my <laughs> skin, my skin, Chris Beck, uh, and and uh, to Max. Oh, thank you, thank you, Milo. It's very kind of you. I did nothing. Yeah, no. <laughs> ah, <laughs> <That's exactly> it. <laughs>